Hey everybody, it's your girl, Everything's TV. Can't be on here long, still, I um, gotta get this essay going. But I wanted to come on here and talk about the guy, his name was Michael Lewis, and he went into his doctor's office, and he shot and killed four people. Um, they said that he did it because he had got surgery, and he said that getting that surgery was the worst thing that he could have done. And he was, like, in so much pain. And he was telling the doctors, you know, I'm in pain. I need medicine. Like, give me medicine. And he said that they ignored his plea. So, you know, he did this. But the thing is, is that this whole situation, it really didn't have to go down like this. Like... The thing is, when you go into the uh, doctor's office and you're in pain and you tell them that you're in pain, let me say it like this. Say, for instance, you have a doctor's appointment and they pull your teeth. They're not going to give you high opiates. Like, they're not going to give you Percocet. They're not going to give you no Roxy, no Oxycontin. They're not going to give you that. What do they usually give you when you get your tooth pulled? They give you Motrin. Because a lot of those other opiates that uh, they have, it might make the gums bleed more. And it's just going to make you feel worse in pain. So what I think happened in this situation, I don't think that the guy's telling the whole story. I think that what happened is he was in pain and he went in there and he probably asked for some like high velocity, you know, pain medicine. And they probably was like, no, we cannot give you that for... Uh, for your pain now i don't know why they couldn't give him that type of medicine but if he was in that much pain but maybe they seen that maybe he was trying to you know a lot of people walk in there and they don't even be in that much pain they just want that medication and maybe that's how they felt they felt that maybe he wanted to abuse you know the the uh medicine you know, the opiates. Because a lot of people, they get dependent on the opiates. And maybe that's they, they know about people with pain, back pain and stuff like that. So maybe they didn't want him to get addicted to something strong like that. And they probably was following protocol. Because a lot of those doctors, they can't just give you anything. They have, they have, to, um, they have to go through other people that's higher than them to see if they can really actually give you that medicine. Y'all think that they just be they can just prescribe anything they want and just like that, a miracle, you get the medicine? No, they still have to go through protocol and they still have to talk to others to see if they can actually give you that medicine. So that's what I think happened here with the guy. You know, he probably went in there and wanted some, some like high velocity you know, per the highest perks you can get, because the man said he was in, like, real pain, worse pain when he got the surgery. You know, sometimes, maybe they ain't do the surgery right. Every, I told you, everybody's not perfect. Maybe they ain't do the surgery right. And um, when he came to ask for medication, they were like, no, nah, I can't give it to you. And, you know, he, he wasn't having that. And I, I, don't, I don't agree with what he did, but, dang, what is he supposed to do? He's supposed to just sit there, you know, and, and be in pain. I don't think he should take it out on them. But some people, some people just can't take pain. A lot of people... They're not good with taking pain like that. And maybe he was in a lot of pain. Yeah, it was wrong for him to do this. But what else? Would, I mean, a lot of people ain't just going to sit there and be in pain. I don't know. I would really like to know, you know, if they gave him medicine. And he probably came back like, this medicine is not working. I need something stronger. And I'm thinking that's what it was. I'm thinking maybe he asked them for medicine. Because I just don't think if he's in that much pain that he asked them for medicine. And then they, they just be like, oh, no, we're not going to give you anything. I don't believe that at all. I believe that he asked for medicine and they gave it to him. And it wasn't strong enough. And then he came back. And maybe they were thinking that he just wanted. he he, he Maybe maybe they saw it because they seen with their other patients. Maybe they saw um 
what do you call it? Maybe they saw, um, maybe they saw, a, um, damn, how you, uh, maybe they saw a routine or no, maybe they seen a pattern that they seen in other, in their other patients and maybe the other patients had came like dependent and addicted on the drugs. So, um, maybe that's what they seen in him and they probably was like, no, we cannot give you anything stronger. You know, you're just going to have to work th through this pain, you know, until we can get you back here and, and <clears throat> see what's going on. But I just don't believe that they was like, no, we're not going to do nothing. We're just going to have you sitting there in pain. I, I really don't think, I don't, I, I, I really don't see that, that happening, that, but you know, that's what I believe what happened. I believe he asked for medication. They gave it to him, and it wasn't strong enough. And then he came back, and they was like, no, we're not going to give you anything higher than that. Because a lot of doctors, they don't want you to get dependent on where you running around like this, trying to, you're addicted to it. So that's why I think happened in the whole situation, but... <sighs> The whole situation was terrible.